Alright, so in today's video, we are going to see how to create a real simple loader and how to implement it when the website is loading. Okay, so let's cut that right away. All right, so here we are in VS Code with three simple files and a folder full of pictures like that, just to have something to show in our website. Okay, so right there, we are just going to build a div with the class of loader and we can style it right now. So the loader will be kind of centered with a position absolute top 40%, a left 50%, transform translate, minus 50, minus 50. This is the way to just center a thing, easily center a thing. So with 200 pixel height, 200 pixel, and now we are going to put some border, 20 pixels solid, oh, 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 like that. Great. And we will have kind of a square like that. And we can build an animation really easy uh, just by changing the color of the border and make it, making it a circle, actually. So yeah, for the top left transform, if you put 50, 50 right there, it will perfectly center it, okay? So with top left and minus 50, minus 50, but it looks kind of uh, too down, okay? Too close to the bottom. So just put 40% there to have, to have it a little bit uh, closer to the top. Okay, great. So now you can just remove colors right there. So uh, you it, it will be black by default, yes, but we will change every color from every um, frame. So border top, color and you can put like red and look yeah this is great great so just put a, a color a little bit yeah like that okay and you can do it with every uh, border so top bottom left and right okay now just choose your color whoops okay so just, uh, I have the color just uh, on the left. So I, I will put my color right there. And you see you have the kind of uh, chrome color right there, okay? So now we need to transform it in a circle. So border radius 50% and tada, it's a circle, great. And now we just need to add an animation. Keyframe, I will call it spin and it will go from transform, translate, and rotate zero. Don't forget the uh, translate, okay? If your element is already uh, transformed, you need to add every value here, okay? So it will start at re rotate zero and two, you can like copy it, uh, to rotate, whoop, uh, 360 degrees. And now it will just spin uh, like that, okay? So yeah, we don't need to put from right there, but it's just for the beginners to really understand what is going on. So now you need to link everything with animation, the name of the animation, the duration, the infinite, so it, it, will, uh, it will run infinitely, and the way it's running, so the heading will be linear, so in a linear way. So it's just rotating like that. Great, we do have a really simple animation and it's, it's look great, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, okay? So now we will add some uh, pictures just to add content and we will uh, do the, um, the, the disappearing, okay? So we need to animate everything. Okay, so I put the images right there and I've styled them a bit just to center everything, okay? So there is the image and there is the loader. So we want a black background and the loader in the center when the website is loading. And when it has finished loading, we, we want to remove this, um, this loading animation. So how can we do that? Up, up. Uh, we can go right there and just build a loader container. Loader container, great. Up, up, great. Now we can go in our style right there, okay. And we will start to style it, loader container. We will use a nice uh, way to um, make it take all the space uh, available. So you can put position absolute, top zero, left zero, right zero, bottom zero. And it's like you've pinned it on all the, the, the different border. And so it will take all the available uh, space. All right. Uh, and you just need to give him a color, give it a color. Yes. And now you see that 
it's just taking all the space available okay so it's perfect it's perfect right now it's perfect you just need to go on the javascript parts yeah great and so window dot add event listener load when our website has finished loading so it will fire this event when everything is loaded it will fire this event okay so images tide sheet dom uh, etc so we will just take document that query selector loading uh, loader container loader container that style that display equal none okay so is it this loader container yeah it's working okay so now when everything is loaded look it's just go away but we do have a pretty nice internet connection right there so we are not really seeing the animation okay um, it will work with a real big website okay with a lot of image uh, and a lot of things to load but right there we don't have much things to to load actually so how can we uh, pretend to have a, a bad connection just open the console oh yeah it's right there so just open the console this is the Chrome Dev Tools, and you go on Network, okay? The so Console Elements and Network. And right there, you have a little tab uh, online right there, and you can pretend uh, to, to have a slow 3G connection with the presets like there. So click on Slow 3G right there, and just undock it again, up, up, and try to refresh. And it will uh, just pretend that you have a slow connection, and see, it's working. It's working and up, uh, you uh, you have your website appearing like that. So you can add some animation like fade out animation with some transition, opacity and things like that. So uh, it was just, uh, my, my purpose was just to show you how to do that. But it's your imagination after that to just uh, build whatever you want to build. So it's nice, but there is a little thing right now. Look, if I go there and uh, I refresh and when there is a loader, if I try to scroll, it will work. See, and we don't want that to. We don't want to be able to scroll when there is a loading event. So we just need to add overflow hidden to our body. Body overflow hidden. Hidden, right? It will clip uh, the visible part of the body, and since the body uh, do not have height. To begin, it will just um, remove all the, the scroll, uh, the scroll behavior. So you won't be able to scroll if there is overflow hidden on the body. Okay, so um, the overflow is clipped and the rest of the content will not be visible. Okay, so yeah, that's perfect when it's loading. So I can scroll if if I just refresh here, and yeah, I can scroll. I'm trying actually. And you see, uh, nothing is happening. But when I'm on my website, I want to scroll now. Now I want to scroll. So I need in, in my JavaScript, yeah, up, up. I need just to take the body, document that body, that style, that overflow equal auto. Okay, so we are bringing back the original value, overflow auto. So yeah, now when there is the loader, I can scroll. But when it's off, I can scroll, okay? So this is a way you can uh, achieve, <laughs> achieve, not easy for me, that kind of uh, behavior. All right, I hope you've understood me and see you next time for another cool web development stuff, I guess. Bye.